If you feel your life is missing lasers and cannons and the chance to destroy defenseless structures for any other reason than its incredible fun, today's game is for you. Hi, I'm Daniel from Lean Game Viking and this is my origin story on how I transformed from a tiny man with a laser pointer to a destroyer of city worlds. Take that, Thanos. We are trying out a Briss today and it's a physics destruction puzzle game, a little like the bridge builder game but way more good looking and we get to equip custom rockets with bombs and lasers. You might think this game is easy, but let me tell you, don't be fooled by the game's polished looks. The game is hard. I'm talking being vegan, working at McDonald's hard. Still don't believe me? Then witness my giant wall breaker I built. My first pride and joy. Ah, oh, come on now. So you get access to more and more odd things facing different challenges like rotating blocks, connectors, rockets, shotguns and my favorite lasers. So I do as the rock says. I put in the work, I put in the hours, I stay hungry, and I still fail. So what do I do? I go back to study the masters. And let's unleash the beast. It's going, it's going, it's going. Oh yes, that's a nice crush to that solution. The keen-eyed viewer would of course point out that this is a pretty bad completion since there is still things to eradicate, but past Dan did not know that until this screen appeared and the completion is alright in my book. Some would argue that this one is as lucky as Roy Sullivan, the man who managed to survive 7 lightning strikes during his lifetime, but both you and I dear viewer know that the success is a mixture of preparation and luck. My next creation I would like to call the merry-go-round of doom and by carefully placing the rotational block out in the corner it should guarantee that I deal most destruction per rotation. So basically an oversight lawn mower. So let's all just agree that destruction can sometimes be beautiful. I don't know who at the developer Randwerk decided that giving me access to rocket engines would be a great idea but I truly thank thee. My new mortal enemy is now gravity. Come back here, you belong to me! So, as the self-titled rocket engineer, at least according to my Facebook page, I realized that I need to make it more like Gimli and less like Legolas. So here is my dwarf rocket. Staying on the ground is just no fun, so as a cheesy bumper sticker I say, aim for the stars so we can have death and destruction. Elon Musk want to go to Mars, I want to send homemade rockets with bombs out in space. Who would you vote for? Comment down below please. So as you can see I'm going here with directional thrusters to be able to carefully adjust my trajectory. Look at me using all these fancy words today. And by placing the bomb atop I ensure it will not fall off during liftoff. And then it's just a 3, 2, 1 and press the launch button and then at the perfect time press the detonate button. This game makes me feel like Bruce Willis in Armageddon, well besides ending up like him above a nuke that needed to be detonated. Anyway, next up is bouncing lasers, or should I call it laser pinball or laser snooker perhaps if you love tea and biscuits. This one took me a while since I obviously can't learn clockwise and counterclockwise. Go right, more right, Go left, more left, not that much please, what are you doing? Can you believe they gave me a cannon? I feel I have unlimited power. Oh come on. Well, that is one way to save a bit of this embarrassment. Alright, let's do this. Activate power build. Fire the cannon and let's launch what's left of the tower into the air. And say a prayer and yes, 59%, I'll take it. So the game has a sandbox mode and that is for us that just feel the need to mess with the game different elements and physics. So here is a small collection I've created. What is better than one laser? All the lasers. And sharks with laser beams. There are no sharks in this sandbox, silly. Second is quad laser, one cannon, and it might not get there, but it still delivers. Next up is trying to deliver two bombs with the rocket. A bit surprised this one actually worked, hence the bad camera panning from my side here. Hey there, it's me again, Dan, your friendly in game viking. If you like this video, I have another video coming up that I think that you will really enjoy. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome.